out in the cage, uh, we have a flat screen TV. We use the iPad. Uh, we got a couple different, couple different real cool ways that we, that we implement it. One is in our one-on-one -on -one instruction. Um, take a swing, look at it. Okay, there's our start line for the day. Four degrees. Then take, take a few more swings. Hey, try this, try that, whatever it might be. And then after 10 swings, maybe you make a small adjustment. You're able to turn around and look and see, hey, here's the proof that that drill that we just did just improved Nine. your on-plane percentage. Nice. Same thing. There's nothing like instant feedback. You can take a swing and then you can feel what you thought you were feeling and then look up and say, hey, that's exactly what I 11. felt. Or, no, there's something wrong with what I felt because that this metric is telling me something otherwise, which is really cool. I think the most powerful thing for me as a, as a hitting coach is when I'm able to say, hey, player A, this is what I want you to feel. Right, maintain that angle right there as you turn, but also keep that and then the barrel's going to turn right behind you. I want you to, to feel this adjustment in your lower half, or I want you to feel this adjustment with, with your barrel or whatever it is. But now when they do that and we're able to look up and see I made that adjustment and now my, my peak hand speed went up or my power went up. For example, take a swing, say, drop your back shoulder nice. and flare one, one to right field. Four. You can kind of look at the, the screen, see the metric, the angle Good. of your bat. You can basically confirm, yeah, that what I just felt is exactly what the sensor just said. When your eyes maybe see a downward swing, that what you thought or you perceive to be a downward swing and you gave that feedback, you're instantly able to look up or look down at the app and say, look, yeah, that was a downward angle of attack you know, kind of give some validity to what you're saying. That's 90% of the battles as a coaching staff is, you can give them the why, you can give them the how, but the buy-in is, is instrumental for them to really take that jump to the next level. In a group setting, everyone is required to have their blast sensor on. So again, we'll have the tripod set up at the back Ten. of the cage. Nice. Guys are able to, as they're, they're basically waiting on deck, they're able to switch right to their name. Honor switch. So right as they take their next swing, their metrics pop up. Previously, when we first you know, got blast, obviously that was kind of the, one of the biggest things is, hey, we don't want guys to take their phone out to the batting cage, right? And we don't want guys to have all these devices out there, but now to have one central location where you're able to really switch from from athlete to athlete. <clears throat> so remember the key was when you stride, so get to your foot strike. Okay, so when your heel gets into the ground, right? Uh -huh. You wanna have that feel, go ahead. And I think that the biggest thing for us is getting that guy to not only swing, but swing with a purpose. And that's kind of the whole, the whole concept of it. You know, I always talk about not just going in and taking luxury swings, not going in just to get your work in. Because after three or four weeks, if you can't really put together what you've been working on on your own and what you've improved on, uh, and being very specific about it, then you probably have, have just gone in there just to get your swings. So I think that's the biggest thing is just having a purpose with, with every single swing and being detailed about it. Yeah, so I actually just downloaded some. Um, you know, I, I turned on our iPad and uh, I plugged it in a second ago and uh, popped up and said you have a hundred offline, offline swings. So the fact that you can go out in the batting cage, you can take swings and they're stored is, is incredible. Um, giving the player so much more as far as like, okay, well, should I put my blast on today? Yeah, you should because they're going to be stored. Um, then once you do get to Wi-Fi or you do get some data back, um, they're able to be instantly, instantly uploaded and, uh, keeping your coaches or even yourself, um, you know, on track towards your goals. Having the, the swings instantly go to the cloud are great, especially when guys video uh, their swings. So then, you know, we have their videos there and then we can give them, again, almost instant feedback. So as soon as they log in, they have maybe some voiceover remarks that we made. We're trying to create time. We're trying to create power, space equals power, space equals time. And a guy 
shoots you a text and says, hey, I, I took 10 swings on my blast, uploaded them to Blast Connect, videoed them. Can, can you take a look and see you know, what, what you think? And so rather than sending him a text message back or phone call, you can record it. And just as he's sitting there watching through his swing, he has that, you know, that audio feedback. So it's putting the visual learning together with the audio learning rather than having to look at his phone and trying to maybe decipher what you're talking about. You have it right there in front of you. And then of course, having ability to draw lines and circles and dots and, and all, you know, anything that you need um, is incredible and, and makes it incredibly efficient. Basically they're player plan meetings. And every week to two weeks, I meet with each individual hitter. We pull up his video, we log into obviously to, to Blast Connect. Once you show them and you say, hey, these are the th specific things that, that we've been trying to address. Once you're, we're able to really see how we can move your body from this position, but also kind of just maintaining your posture, that's when that, that, that learning curve kind of gets shortened. We're able to um, compare and contrast different athletes, right? You're able to put a, um, a split screen where you're able to look at, hey, this is the guy that does it really well. And here's where you are in that same position. Once we do that, that's when we can kind of implement the drills to specifically address those issues. To have the ability to have everyone listed in one place is a really powerful tool because you can kind of divide it by segments. If you look at kind of where you were, right, based on total number of swings, your bat speed, the attack angle is starting to get better. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was at minus five, now you're at two. We're able to, to constantly monitor throughout the fall, even through the spring, uh, where progress is being made and then match them up and maybe give them a little bit of a incentive or a prize for um, who improved their blast factor over the fall the most. You know, thing, things like that, just to give them, try to give them more incentive to improve, more incentive to get that extra work in and, and ultimately try to get better. The golden, kind of the golden ticket, right, is translating, hey, this guy looks great in the cage. This guy looks great in batting practice. Uh, this guy looks great in, in all the, the training and practice stuff. And once it gets to the game, the best guys are always the one, ones that can translate what they've been working on in the, in the cage or in practice or BP to a, a game at bat. At times as a coach, you kind of bang your head against the wall going like, well, man, your swings were, have been really good in, in the batting cage. And I don't know why you're not doing good in the game. Uh, of course, there are some variables that, that maybe we can't measure with the sensor. Like you're on time with the machine because you know that it's gonna throw about the same speed every time. You know, so on time and, and being able to have your timing in relation to the pitch is an incredible variable. And so going from there to the game, that's ultimately the deciding factor is, okay, well, you're late, so your, your attack angle is down. And um, us get, being able to take some of those variables out for the player, going, okay, well, your time to impact is the same in the game and in the cage. Your blast factor is about the same. So if we can really start kind of process of elimination on some of those variables, it really helps us really narrow down maybe where he is struggling in games versus in the cage. So in game at bats versus a guy on the mound that's throwing 93 miles per hour with three different pitches. How are you going to adjust to that guy? And what is it? What is, what do those metrics look like versus a BP pitcher? or versus a machine that's throwing a bunch of fastballs that are straight down the middle with, with a little bit of velo behind it. So to be able to compare the game day metrics with the training metrics and how to bridge that gap is, um, is a big deal, you know, because then you really see who's starting to, to turn a corner.